Hey everybody, Eric Romanak from SEBA Fitness Academy here and this is Dr. Michael Winters from Winters Wellness Chiropractic Redefined and I have known Dr. Winters for uh, quite a few years and if you've ever heard a Dr. Winters story it probably went something like somebody was going to the doctor and getting a bunch of tests done they couldn't figure out what was going on they went to Dr. Winters and he checked for something that nobody else was checking for and he's changed many many lives I've almost been motivated into tears by hearing mm -hmm. some of these stories uh, you got people traveling all over the world to see you he's got these amazing therapies and one of the things that's interesting about Dr. Winters is because he's a chiropractor he's not necessarily confined to the bureaucracy of the big slow moving medical system so you can you can do some different things yeah. and it's it's really interesting some of the things are uh we we're going to talk about today we're going to try to describe them in layman's terms uh, i am here mostly because i am an athlete and i'm a runner and this year i'm trying to make a very big goal happen so i want to make sure that i'm addressing all the issues that I need to address with my body because as a runner you're putting one foot in front of the other thousands and thousands and thousands of times and if I have muscle imbalances or if anything's off even my spinal alignment then those little misalignments eventually turn into injuries and, Mr. and Dr. Winters here has a new therapy what, what's it called? Quantum Neurology Nervous System Rehabilitation quantum neurology nervous system rehabilitation and what does it do it helps turn on the nerves so that your muscles can work right so that your brain can get connected to everything and you can be as efficient as possible in your physical structure and in your nervous system function how you relate to the world that's very interesting now one of the things as a personal trainer I always tell people that all fitness starts in the brain we've got a lot of muscles in our body and they're not all working are they <laughs> and they're they're working in they have to work in in tandem as you know agonist and antagonist one muscle works and the other relaxes at the same time to make everything work efficiently. That's right. So what Dr. Winters is saying is that sometimes the brain and the muscle just aren't having the conversation that they need right. to have. So Dr. Winters has some techniques that gets that channel or that conversation to start happening. And then once you turn that conversation on, then it's a matter of you know working on those muscles that might not have been uh, very strong. Mm -hmm. And for somebody like me or any athletes in general, you said this uh, therapy is being used by U.S. track and field athletes, yes. Olympians as well. Yes. Yeah, this is fantastic. And where did you go to learn this? Uh, Los Angeles mostly. Los Angeles. Uh, a couple, one in one in Atlanta, but mostly Los Angeles. Okay, great. This is really exciting stuff. Uh, what are you going to do? I, I, I'm, we're going to try to make sure that we've got good visual on the camera. So, yeah. Doc, I, just do your thing. Tell me what All to right. do. Well, first, I'm just going to check his posture and. If the brain is under firing one side to the other, meaning the conversation, as he mentioned, isn't going as strongly to one side, then there's going to be posture changes. There'll be one shoulder rolled in, a hand rolled in, a toe out, that sort of thing. Okay. So I'm looking at Eric, and he's, he's pretty balanced here today. He's pretty square here. One shoulder's not flexed in. His hands are pretty equal. I see about the same amount of the knuckles on both sides and his feet are pretty balanced. So I'm going to say left and right brain, he's doing pretty good right now. Then, and I'll check this. I'm going to flip us sure. around so we can hear better on the mic. You might be able to hear better on the microphone that way. Okay. There we go. And so I've looked at his posture. He's really square. So I think left and right brain are balanced. In other words, the conversation is equal to both sides. But I'm going to see if the conversation is going from the brain to the central muscles. And I'm going to check that two different ways. I'll check it on the table in a second. But I'm just going to see how, how if his muscle comes to a point of lock. And here it does. But now I'm going to have him lock them both at the same time. And it doesn't. So his brain can't have the conversation with both muscles together as efficiently as it does one by itself. Yeah, so, and it may seem real, like, overly simple, uh, this w reflex or muscle testing, but basically, if if the energy pathways have a kink in the hose, mm -hmm. I can't hold my arm up. It's a subconscious thing. Even if I try real hard, he's, he's going to feel that weakness, and obviously, you've done 
tens and thousands and thousands of muscle testings with people. But. Yeah, so to, to stay with your analogy in the conversation, it's not a clear conversation, it's a wah, 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 wah mm, conversation. Gotcha. That's really interesting. Okay, fantastic. So posture's not too bad, yep. but I can't hold both arms up at the same time? Not you, you can't lock them at the same time. And what's yeah. the, so what what's that saying about me? That's saying that, that the brain and the body centrally are not in that good conversation. There's something off there which is gonna inhibit the core muscles from working efficiently and and leave you more prone to injury especially your spine but other areas too now even though i work out all the time and i work out intelligently yeah. what's going on well there's something gotten off structurally probably from injury mm -hmm. or it's not it's not from not working out correctly it's from injury mainly is and it needs to be rehabilitated turned on enough times that uh, that it stays there. And that could have been an injury from a long time it ago. It could have been an injury from a long time ago. Wow, okay, fantastic. So now that you check the posture, what's the next phase? Well, I'm gonna have you lay on your back and we're just gonna go ahead and, and work with that. Okay, fantastic. Okay. So I want you to push your leg down. Okay. Push your leg down, push them both down at the same time, and again, you can't. So that's a loss, well, in doctor terms, loss of central integration, but loss of conversation between the brain and the core muscles. So I'm going to just for to show here, I know exactly where it's coming from to start with, but you can see this muscle strong. I'm going to push down inferior on the bladder, which gravity just takes it down, especially if we're injured. And so that's the first place to look. One, structurally, because it has a big influence on everything in the abdomen and the core, but two, uh, from an acupuncture standpoint, the bladder meridian runs all along the spine. So it's, it's a big deal that way. So we're just gonna take this instrument, this taps 12 times a second, so it taps at a speed that's good for the conversation between the brain and the body. Uh, actually, that the brain works at to control the muscles, so that same speed. We're just going to lift that bladder up, and then I'm going to come in here, taking my muscle that's strong, checking the conversation again, push down the bladder, it's okay. I'm going to push up here on the leg, that puts energy and force up into the spine, so if there's something off there, he'll weaken, and he does. So now we're going to take our hand, and it's right there is where he weakens. That's the point i got to release, and... Again, it's energy. I know I'm going through abdominal tissue, but this energy, this vibration, is eventually going to get to the back and be received. It's a very and specific directional energy that you're yes. giving my body. Yeah, I'm exactly. It's probably the fourth lumbar right there. That's good. That's good. I'll check up your stomach. Good. So hold both sides down. Hold. Yeah, we've corrected it. He can lock them together. So now the conversation is going between the brain and the core muscles. Yeah, so now, anything you want to add to that? No, I just want to say that I do core work all the time. I always thought I had a great core, and I do have a strong core, but it wasn't completely connecting all the time. So this is now that Doc has done created that connection now it's my job to go reinforce it correct yes. uh -huh. perfect and i'm yeah. good at that I'll, yeah. <laughs> I'll be right on it yeah he he'll be uh he'll be uh walking out the door and working on that as that's as right do some crunches on the in the hall all right so now we're going to check specific connections specific conversation between the lumbar spine and muscles that those nerves control and so we're gonna this is this testing is more like a standard would be standardly used in uh, medical practice physical therapy etc so we're going to turn your foot out like that this is the first sacral nerve root we're going to push in and it's strong it holds it it can take full full pressure hold so that that conversation is good those nerves are working good we're going to turn you lift your toes up we're going to pull down, that's fifth lumbar, that's working good. And we're going to turn the foot in and push out 
Good. And we're going to turn the foot in and push out. And that's weak. So we've got to work on that. Again, here he can take full pressure. Here he can't take full pressure that gives. So that's a, a, a breakdown in the communication between his lumbar spine and, and this muscle. Now we've worked on that once before and it's still weak, so it either just needs a few more sessions or we'll have to figure out deeper what may be throwing the connection off. But again, from a standpoint of energy, I'm just going to have him put his fingers right there, which is a specific point right across from the fourth lumbar vertebra that controls the nerve to here and we're going to see if it gets stronger. So hold, no, and take it here, hold. Yes, it's strong now that he's filling in that energy gap, and we're going to do that now with the light also, and then we're going to leave the light on him as we continue working. But now we're going to come right in here into that specific area and tap. So now the conversation can reboot with this extra energy from the adjustment the adjusting instrument and from the light. So hold this foot in real strong, hold. And it's not all there yet, so hold up. So touch right there one more time. Hold, 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 hold. Um, we're going to touch, take this hand and put it on the back of your head, like the back, yeah, right, okay. right there. So I got some foot issues, huh? Yeah. Hold, hold, hold. Wow! You feel that? Yeah. Alright, so we're going to go back to the back of the brain, which is the cerebellum, which is the coordinating station in the brain between all the input that's coming from his lower body up to his brain. And it's the area of the brain that deals... You can let your hand down. Okay. We're put the light right there. It's an area of the brain that deals with uh, balance, uh, coordination, movement, muscle tone, and more. And so that seems to be where we need to turn on the communication at. So hold your foot in, way in, hold, hold, hold. Oh, now we're good and solid. So it, in his case, it wasn't locally so much at the lumbar spine as it was at the cerebellum. So, so we may actually want to uh, go over later some exercises for your cerebellum. What exactly does an exercise for my cerebellum look like, Doc? <laughs> well, it can look like a couple things. One is called gaze stabilization, meaning I hold my thumb out, mm -hmm. I turn my head right and left while I'm keeping my eyes on my thumb the entire time. And then it could just be simply, if we're working on the left cerebellum, it could be things where you're doing one-sided, gotcha. that could require balance on that side. Yeah. And you know, it, for, for the sake of brevity in this video, and I appreciate you guys hanging on with us, you know, Doc has worked with me a couple other times with this, so I know some other muscles that, I, that he's fixed that I need to work on and continue to develop. So I'm gonna try to make another video in my journey here, and this will be video number one. Uh, this is this is the information gathering and now it's time to do some work and I think we're gonna come back I'm gonna come back for another session here real real soon yeah. for some uh, for some continuation doc anything you want to say before we head out today no just when we have a healthy conversation we have a healthy relationship both uh, with other people and with our own bodies that's exactly right mind body relationships are critical if we're gonna walk the earth we might as well be comfortable in our own bodies and minds. Thanks, Doc. I appreciate right, you today, buddy. Take care, guys. I'll talk to you soon.